Are you feeling stuck as an artist? Today, I will be giving you seven tips on how to unstuck yourself in being an artist and pursuing your creative purpose and finding your creative vision as well. There's a difference of a creative block and being stuck. Over here, I like to really engage and become my full self to you to be able to like really experience the things I had to go through to break through, to unstuck myself, but also how to stay consistent, how to always create ideas and how to be creative all the time. So this is going to be a video for you. Stick around and make sure to subscribe down below for more videos like this. Let's go. Welcome to Style Studios, where we visualize our dreams to reality using our imagination with a lifestyle fit for creativity. I'm your host, Styles McKay. Let's get right into the video. Yeah, I mean, being an artist is tough. I mean, you gotta take your mind and put it into a physical thing or something for other people to listen to, but then everyone gets to decide whether they like it or not. But what about what I like? This is what I like. Why can't you like what I like? Because I liked it, so I made it. You know how much confidence it needs to take to be able to put out something? How much confidence it takes to just be able to like trust what I'm doing? I don't know, it feels like, why am I stuck when I could really be just doing this because I wanna do it? I'm stuck because I care too much about what other people think and I'm afraid to just do it. All the people who have been successful, whether it's on YouTube, being a music artist, being a painter, they found out how to not care what other people think, or they just put it out even though they still cared what people thought. Then eventually, with enough work and consistency, next thing you know, someone finally found something that was like, wait a second, this guy's got something here. Hold on, this is a great piece of work. Other people need to see this. That's why you're stuck. You're not stuck because you don't have an idea or you don't know what to do next. No, you're stuck because you care too much about the viewer listening and what their opinion is of you. Once you get rid of that, <laughs> It's a whole lot easier to create. I've let that go, and now I have this ability where I do not care what I do or what you think of it because this is what I am. I don't know what else there is to do. <sighs> what? <laughs> make my own make my own planet? I don't <laughs> Yeah, I did do that. Cosmality. <laughs> That's funny. So we all know what it's like being stuck and it's a place we don't like to be. So why are we procrastinating more and more every time? We get into a creative flow, then we burn out, then we get stuck again. What is the system that is going to change? So the number one tip in this video is going to be to take a break. Take a break to live life. Stop trying to create. Find out what's going on with your personal self. Find a routine and just cozy out for a little bit. If you need to sit there and watch some Netflix, if you need to go on some long walks, if you need to do something that just to eliminate the process to be able to fully rest, then this will be very valuable to come back a little bit stronger to create this purpose in unstucking yourself. And the whole purpose of this is to gain a whole new perspective in going into that. And that will actually help your vision align with where you're trying to go or maybe your vision is wrong and you need to find a new one this is going to do that so before you do anything when was the last time you took a break tip number two in this video is going to be trying a new median such as a new art style for me I have many different styles in art and that's why I think I have solved this issue for myself because I have many different outlets to go to when one doesn't feel right at the moment I can go do music, I can play the guitar, I can produce some music, make some beats, I can go draw, paint, create some visuals, I can shoot some music videos, I can edit the video. There's a lot of work into what I do, 
but because I do a lot of different things, it allows me to come back stronger in the next one, such as whether I'm designing logos, designing YouTube thumbnails, or designing things for my website, or designing t-shirts like this one. Everything kind of just allows me to have some motivation when I get into the next area that I need to focus in for that day or that task. And this also helps in terms of your personal life as well. Getting out of your comfort zone really allows you to really push yourself to different areas you didn't know were possible. Tip number three is collaborate with other artists. Working with other artists can help you grasp new insights on your art or ideas and inspirations. Everything comes from an idea and everything has an inspirational source. And taking a moment to appreciate someone else's art and perspective and allows you also to realize, imagine their critique on their own art. How do you feel when you create something? Ah, uh, this isn't, this isn't good enough. Ah, uh, no one's gonna like this. And then what about that person that you're listening to? What about that person you're looking at their art on a wall? What did they think? but they still did it and they know this is what they best that they could have done at the time and other people are valuing it. Everything you see as the creator isn't actually what the viewers see as the person who's looking at your art, wondering what that emotion is coming from. Tip number four is to set intentional goals. I feel like at one point in time, I was always creating, but I never was giving myself goals on how to do it or what to do. This is going to really allow your vision to be narrow and to be focused and to give you the right ideas in your mind and everywhere else around you to really lock in on what's important, what do you need to cut out, and what do I need to do to create this that my goal is? What is the best outcome to achieve the goal I have set for myself and my purpose in being an artist. And this will also allow you to focus your creative energy in being able to really lock in and find the flow you need to create, to be unstuck in the mode that you're in right now. Number five is always a very interesting one to me and that's to seek feedback. Sometimes this is works and sometimes it doesn't because you have to understand when you get feedback, no one's going to know the true intention of what this is going to lead to or where you're going. So sometimes like it's kind of like tricky and it doesn't it depends on who you ask. But the feedback you need to really be focusing on is your own feedback. What are your internal thoughts giving to yourself as you're looking at your art? What do you feel when you listen to it? What do you feel when you look at it? What do you feel when you create it? This is gonna be the most important feedback you need to listen to is your internal dialogue on how you feel creating. When you say, ah, oh, this isn't it, maybe it's not it. You should know, you should know more than ever. You should know more than anyone. So trust yourself and listen to your own feedback. But if you have trusted people around you, definitely get their feedback, but don't let their feedback cloud your judgment on your art. Tip number six is to embrace your own imperfections. Embracing your own imperfections sometimes isn't as easy as you think. I mean, I mean, like <laughs> a few years ago, I, I wasn't able to do this. Uh, I'll give you that. So you watching this video, just know it's not gonna work by watching this video. Just the message I'm giving to you is the best way I can give it by, it's gonna take time. You have to practice working on that. Uh, you have to practice getting giving no fucks sorry for the language but it's literally that real and it comes down to the fact that you know your imperfections are only the things you see on yourself that you think someone may not even see that you know sometimes i get a, like a pimple on my forehead and i'm like oh my god what am i gonna do everyone's gonna see it oh my god oh my god i can't i can't do it but you may not know the person you're talking to isn't even looking because why they see their own imperfections and they're like oh a pimple wow oh my god that's it's not the end of the world when it comes to art it's almost like the same concept so it just seems like whenever i'm like really working on what the imperfection is that i need to like let go of it just seems like it's it's really easier when you let go of that to really like create the art you want to make verse oh my god i'm so worried i'm so worried what someone's gonna think 
I've noticed this the biggest in my creative journey is being able to understand where I made a mistake or something I didn't know at the time or how to learn a little bit better. These are always improvements for growth and the vision will open itself up to you when it's time. Tip number six, definitely wait because you will love the growth that comes with your imperfections. Don't worry, trust yourself. Tip number seven, the last tip of this video, guys. This one is important and this one's super valuable because this goes into your surroundings. Stay around things that inspire you. Get out of your comfort zone, get outside, go into nature, go jump into the ocean or go for a hike. Whatever it is that's around you, go to it. Get out of your comfort zone, get into your surroundings. If you like art, if you like painting, go to a mu museum. If you like making music, go to a concert. See what that's like. See what the fe feeling of the energy that you get from it and put that into your vision. Being able to have multiple interests in things that you like is what life's about. And this is the part that comes into what this video is about is have multiple things, find multiple things. Don't just stick to one thing and only live one thing. This is going to really eliminate and cut out all the distractions that you need to get unstuck because that's where we're at right now and we need to break past that. So I'm here to help you get unstuck in your creative process and help you push and remind yourself that you have the potential to find these answers that you're looking for. When you seek answers, the answers will be revealed. When you don't look for the answers, the answers will never show. This is going to really change your perspective on finding and seeking the things you need to create the right way or to you know just find the things you want in life because that's what we're here to do. Remember, everyone experiences creative blocks from time to time. So don't get discouraged when you feel one or have one. Just remember the tips from this video. Get, get out of your comfort zone. Find the things that are going to unblock you from your creative process. Tap into your flow and find the right things that are gonna get you ready to go. So that's my purpose here with Style Studios is to help you as I help myself. Why can't you create your dream life? That's what we're here to do with Style Studios. I'm Styles McKay and I'm gonna be helping you do that along the way. Feel free and consider to subscribe down below for more videos like this. Remember to visualize your life because this is yours and create your imagination and turn it into reality is what we're about here and that's what i'm about and that's what i've done and pushed and i'm ready here to share it with you as well thank you so much for watching this video definitely if you did enjoy this video hit the like button down below it'll definitely help me out and i would appreciate it so much if you want to follow me on social media all the links will be down below in the description at styles mckay at stylestudios.co if you want to visit my website as well that is in the description as well Thank you so much, guys. Peace. Thank you for talking to me. I'll see you guys on the next video.